Hi guys, I'm the Batch Lady, or aka Suzanne Mulholland. On the Batch Lady channel, I'm going to show you how to make simple, homemade, fast, healthy meals that you can make in advance and store in your freezer for whenever you want them. Imagine coming home every night and just having something ready to heat up and put on the table with no extra dishes to do whatsoever. Well, now you can with this concept. Today, we are making burgers, homemade burgers. And I just want to show you how simple and easy these are to make, that there's no need to buy them from the shops with added preservatives and they're quite expensive. You don't need to. You can feed your kids these. They think they're having a really exciting sort of treat that they're getting burgers and fries. And actually, it's a really easy, healthy meal to make. So what you want to do is you want to take your ground beef and this minced beef has not been frozen before. So um, usually I use lots of frozen mince because we're farmers and I've always got a freezer full, but you don't want frozen stuff because I'm going to freeze these um, raw before they go in the freezer. They cook much better that way. So you've got your frozen meat and we are simply going to, uh, so not your frozen meat, sorry. You've got your minced beef and we're going to season them well. Just with some salt and pepper. And people always think that you need a lot of things to get these to stick together. You really don't. What I use is American mustard. Um, it gives a really nice taste to the beef. And you need some three good old squeezies, I would say, because I've doubled the recipe here. And you need, if you're doubling the recipe, you're going to need eight teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. But I know that eight teaspoons makes half a cup. So I'm just going to finish filling this cup up and add it to it. And there's no um, exact measures as usual, like all the other Batch Lady stuff. You just get your hands in about it and you see whether it sticks together well, is it too wet, is it always better to make it too dry and then add some other stuff to it. So um, I think this is pretty good. So you just mix it all together and I'm going to dump it out. Okay, one huge big hamburger. And I know this is double, so it's going to make eight. So if I half it and then give it around, I know that I can half and quarter, and that's going to make four. And if I do the same here, that is going to make another four. And that is how simple making burgers is. You roll them out, you give them a little flattened down, and there, is your burger. Now, to put them in the freezer, what you want to do is get your sealable freezer bag that you've already labeled. This one's labeled burgers. And so I've got, I'm just gonna do four and let you see. And I'll do the other four later because I don't like to keep my videos too long. Um, because I'm sure that you're all as busy as I am and you don't want to watch a big long video. So we're gonna do four. So that's one, two, three, and this will be the fourth. Now you have to keep them flat when you freeze them. So um, put them like on the top of the freezer just till they're actually flat and then you can store them once they're hardened. If not, you're going to end up with some unusual shaped burgers. Now I'm going to quickly wash my hands. Now we've got them in the bag and we're going to seal this bag. Now sometimes what happens with things like this is they get um, freezer burn quite easy if you don't get all the air out the bag. And it's quite hard to get all the air out the bag. So I did have one. But I've lost it. What you do is you free is you seal it and just at that little corner you put in a straw okay just a normal drinking straw and then you bend down and you suck it out and that will you suck the air out of it close it up tight and it will shrink together almost like a shrink wrap and it keeps as much air out as possible. Now there's four burgers ready for the freezer. If you want any more of my recipes please check on um, thebatchlady.com on my website. They're all free, they're all downloadable, um, and you can choose as many as you want. And please subscribe below and keep watching. Thank you for watching The Batch Lady. Enjoy your burgers.